Hey everybody, Joy here. How are all of you today? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. I'm lonely. I've been alone all week because I'm at my other house and I don't have any friends here who can come over and play. And um, I had to come uh, here this week to have this little procedure done on my leg. But anyway, I've had to have my leg elevated and sit in a chair and it's been so boring. <laughs> So today was the first day, I had to go back to the doctor to make sure everything came out right, which it did. And so, I called Philly and said, do you want to have lunch at the Hideaway Pizza, my favorite place. They have what's called margarita pizza there. And it's got just tomatoes, chopped up tomatoes on the top, and uh, basil. Like, you know how you do, what's it called, a chevronade or a chevron or a something and you roll the basil up and you cut it in those pretty little curls and then they sprinkle it all over the pizza. Oh, my favorite. And then they have the freshest salads there. I mean, the lettuce is actually green, not white, not brown, actually green. It has olives and, and tomatoes and I don't know what all, but oh, it is so good. Anyway, that's where I ate. And so then it just so happens that about two miles farther down the same street, there's a Joann's. And so you know how that Jolene came, and she gave Jerry a birthday present of three or four yards of this beautiful blue batik. And I said, what the heck, what's he supposed to do with that? And she said, you're supposed to make him a shirt. <laughs> well, I've never made a man's shirt. Way, 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 way back when I was still in my 20s, I made him some sweatshirts. And I look back at the pictures of him and I think, oh, he was so kind to wear those. <laughs> so dorky. One of them had a pocket on it with an embroidered P. <laughs> the letter P. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I thought, well, I'll just go on down the street to Joann's and see if I can find a pattern. So I'll show you the pattern. None of the patterns were on sale. So I decided to buy New Look since New Look is only $3.99 all the time. And I like New Look patterns. And so this is the pattern I got right here. It's actually a unisex. And I won't ever make the pattern for the girl, but it's the only pattern they had that was for a man. So that's the pattern. And I like the way that inside the, the collar and inside the cuff, and probably in the placket going down the front, there's a different fabric. So, I don't know if I'll do that or not, but I think it's really cute. And in a minute when the wash gets done, I'll show you the fabrics I bought uh, to use for my two muslins. I'm, I'm darn sure not going to start out with that beautiful batik that Jolene bought him. I found two pieces on the clearance table way in the back of Joanne's. So I couldn't find anything that looked like a boy. Uh, except for plaids, plaid flannels, which he would like fine, but I didn't want to have to mess with matching plaids and matching the pockets and all that stuff. I just wanted to sew this sucker up and see if it fits him. So I found one piece of fabric that looked like it went with men and it's got elephants all over it. I wish it had black bass all over it, but it doesn't. It's got elephants all over it. And then I found another one that's just stripes, or like a half inch wide stripes, a, a gold and a light gold and a gold and a light gold. And so I'm thinking I, that's the two I'll do for a muslin. Hopefully they'll turn out and he'll wear them. And so then while I was looking, I actually found several new looks that I liked for myself. And of course, you know, I don't have hardly any patterns. <laughs> what a joke. I, I have more patterns than I have fabric. <laughs> I probably have these patterns, who knows. But I'm at this house, and this house doesn't have them. So anyway, uh, another lady was there, and she and I were both looking at new look patterns. And we both found one cape pattern that we really, really liked. And we went over to the drawer to find it, and it was not there at all. Even the, you know how they have the, the divider that sticks up that has the number on it? There wasn't even a divider for it. So I don't know what happened to that, but we weren't able to buy it. But I'll show you the two that we were able to buy. This one right here that I like very much, this version right here, I like very much because of the contrast that you can put on the top. I don't like these bell sleeves. I don't want sleeves. I'm always getting my sleeve in my dinner and when I cook and stuff. I don't need any sleeves like that. <laughs> and then this one... I really, really like, I don't like this pointy business, but I like this one right here and this one right here. I like both of those, which both will have to have an FBA, of course, 
but I, I'm not going into that pointy business. I actually bought last week um, when I was, where was I? Was I at Penny's? I think I was at Penny's in Sherman. And I tried on some, I've never had any what they call leggings. I don't even know if these are called leggings. But they're those real skinny jeans. They're stretchy and they fit your legs tight. They look absolutely horrible on me with just the pants on and no top. I can see why people wear long tops over them. Because, I mean, what you have is what shows. It doesn't matter how much it sticks out or how much it does not stick out. That's what it looks like. So, I can see why people wear those long tops. And so, I'm going to make these and I'm going to make them long. Like down, you know, below my hips. Maybe halfway down my thighs and wear them with those tight jeans. And maybe some boots. And try to look up to date. <laughs> So anyway, let me take a break, and I'll come back, and I'll show you the fabrics I picked for sideburn shirts, okay? Stay right there. I'm back! And by the way, you've probably noticed that my lips look funny. I'm so embarrassed to go anywhere. I think in my whole life, and I'm 66 years old, I think there's been two times I've had what's called cold sore or a fever blister. I don't even know what the right name of it is. But right now, I have two of them. Not just one, but two on my bottom lip. And so my bottom lip's all put. It looks like I went and I had that shot in my bottom lip and like they did my bottom lip and forgot to do the top one. <laughs> so anyway, if my lip looks weird, that's why. Okay, before I show you sideburns, I gotta show you mine. This is the cutest. I was back there on the sale table or somewhere. I don't know where I was. Let me see which way's up and which way's down. This is so cute. I don't really know. It's like there's no right side up and no upside down, but it's bicycles. How cute is this fabric? I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. I think it is the cutest. I'm going to make something. Maybe one of the long tops to wear with my leggings. I don't know, but I think this is the cutest, cutest, cutest print. I was going to try, in fact, I looked and I looked. For some fabric, this pretty blue greenish color that's on the wheels. And I actually found um, some fabric that was that color, but it was a real slinky knit, like they make bathing suits or dance costumes out of. Somehow I just couldn't see that on me. So I decided I'll wear it with my leggings or my black pants or something. But isn't it cute? I mean, really. I mean, it don't, no matter how much fabric you have, you know, it's like a collection. And when you see a piece you really love, you have to buy it. It's like the law. So anyway, I got that for me. What do y'all think? Do you think this looks like a sideburn shirt? Of course, on him, it'll be a stripe like that. Does that look like a boy shirt? I think it looks like a boy shirt. I think it's really cute. I really do. And do you know that men's shirts have 3 8 inch buttons? How does a man's great big old fingers even <laughs> button those crazy things? So I bought these kind of cute on me too, isn't it? Although I don't look good in gold. But anyway, this is going to be one of his muslins, Jolene. And the elephants are still in the washing machine, so you're going to have to wait for me a little bit before I can show you those. <laughs> so just stay right there, and I'll be back really fast because the video doesn't know how much time goes by. <laughs> I am back! <laughs> Probably an hour later, but you don't know, do you? So you want to see the elephants, huh? That's my daughter used to call them elephants. Tell me what you think for a man's shirt. Now my friend Deb makes her husband the coolest shirts out of cars. But my husband isn't into cars. So I thought this would be a good shirt made out of elephants. What do you think? Does that look like a boy shirt to you? It does to me. Now I have to have long sleeves and cuffs. Okay, play like I'm a man. Okay, this side's a man. <laughs> and this side's a girl. <laughs> what do you think? I'm looking in the mirror. I think it looks like African material, which is nice, but I think it'll look really nice on him. I like to make one of those shirts that just hangs out. I love those on Jerry because it kind of hides your tummy, you know. So, anyway, this is one of the muslins. So, anyhow, tell me what you think. 
Tell me the truth. I think that's horrible joy. No man would be caught dead in elephants. So let me know what you think before I embarrass my husband. And don't worry, he'll tell me what he thinks. I promise you. <laughs> All right. Bye for now. If he doesn't like it, maybe I'll make an elephant moo moo or something. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I kind of like these colors on me. Isn't that funny? I like them a lot. My goodness, I love these colors. I love these colors. How much better do I look in this than I do in the blue? Oh my goodness. I think I have changed. My old age, I'm changing what colors I look good in. I may make myself an elephant shirt. Good gravy. I really like that. Okay. You never know what life's going to bring your way. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Joy here. Joy with a little cuppa because I was almost out of coffee in my percolator, so I decided to get a little cup so it would still look full. <laughs> Paula gave me these cups a couple of years ago for a gift, and they're so pretty. They have a little tray that goes with them. It's one of my faves. Mm. Anyway, so y'all want to know the update on the elephant shirt and the striped shirt. I washed them. I ironed them, each of them, three and four yards long. Had them all pressed and ready to show Jerry when he got home. He came in, and I said, oh! I got some stuff to make you a shirt out of for a muslin. And I pulled it out of the bag and he said, there's no way I'm wearing elephants, Joy. And I said, what's wrong with the elephants? These colors look great on you. And he said, I'm not a little boy. I said, well, they're not little boy elephants. They're grown up elephants. I'm not wearing elephants, Joy. <laughs> so I said, it's just going to be a muslin if I make it up. You don't have to wear it anyway. And he said, well, I don't know why you're even making me a shirt. I can buy all the shirts I want. And so I said, I knew it. You're just being nice because Jolene was there saying you'd wear a shirt I made. I said, I'm using that boutique and I'm making myself a shirt. So the elephants will now be used to make little boy elephant quilts <laughs> for Diana. <laughs> and the heck was sewing for him. I know it would never work. He's way, way too picky, you guys. Believe me. Terry's doing a chili cook-off today. She is. She's going to a chili cook-off. Can you believe it? She's making our famous chili. I think it's called Grandma's Chili that uh, she gave me the recipe of. I change it a little bit. I make it different than she does. But um, she's going to some place where there, a whole bunch of people are making chili. So I hope she sends me pictures. And if she does, I'll show them to you. And I think it's for... Ch of course, if it's Terry, it's for charity. A uh, women's, a battered women's home or something, I think she said. So anyway, if I didn't tell you, it's Saturday, October 15, 2016. And goodbye for now. <laughs>